Count Dankula called you out for a fight? Oh? Oh, shit, that's Count Dankula. In a trailer park. Do they have those in Scotland? Does he live in Scotland? Or is he just Scottish? Is he Scottish? He is, right? Oh, shit. This is for Vash. Vash Kuczynski, or whatever the f*** your f***ing stupid last name is. You good-for-nothing, lousy Freedom botherer. Me and you in the ring. One man, one male feminist enters, and only one man will leave, and it'll be this man. Call me a fascist. Call me a fascist. You see what fascism is? When me and you go into the ring. And Whoa, wait, hold on. I said I thought I made my stipulations clear. I would fight um only the the weakest, smallest, crippled girl um they could find for the ring. That was my precondition. I made my I made my shit clear, okay? Only green MMs. Is he Irish or Scottish? Yeah, I don't I don't know what the accent is. I'm glad the subtitles are here. <laughs> Thank God for subtitles. And my fascism ends up in your f***ing ring. And that's real fascism, boy. Not your punch libertarian socialism. There's no such f***ing thing, lad. I think this is Irish. Isn't this Irish? The accent, I mean. I, kn I know, yeah, he's Scottish, but I he's doing an Irish accent. That's not a Scottish accent. Dwarvish? No, d no dwarves have Scottish accents. This is an Irish accent. Irish and Scottish accents don't sound that similar. You can tell them apart. No such thing. Get a job. Get a job. Never. And half pay for driveway and run off with the money like the rest of us. Good, honest work. Good, half, honest work. Me and you, I'll ask Sam O'Hyde. He only stays three caravans down. I'll fucking ask him, lad. I'll go fucking ask him right now. How, how can you be a fa- It's a traveler accent. I think it's different from Irish. Aren't, aren't, um... Aren't, um... Aren't travelers Irish? No, Roma and Irish travelers aren't the same group, right? Irish travelers are like super Irish. Aren't they like double Irish? Irish travelers. Sorry, I have to familiarize myself with like European racism. As always, it's, it's, a, it's a minefield. Also known as pavis or mincers? How on earth would you pronounce that? Are a traditionally peripatetic indigenous ethno-cultural group, what a f mouthful, originating in Ireland, predominantly English-speaking, though many also speak Shelta, Roman Catholic, often incorrectly referred to as gypsies, but they're not genetically related to the Romani who are of Indo-Aryan, or yeah, okay, yeah, the, the uh, Romani people are a whole different area, but I guess they both live in wagons or whatever, so I don't know. As of 2016, there are 32,000 travelers within Ireland. Wait, can I get, like, a YouTube video of them so I can see what they look like now and not just a photo from 500 years ago? Wait, hold on. Uh, Irish Travelers. Watch yourself, Paddy. Howdy, Hello. Paddy. Some people romanticize Irish Travelers, imagining a free people living at one with nature. Illegally in Wexford in the oh, is this why he's in a trailer park? Because they're poor? South of that's her son, and his name is Luke. Over here, see where the waters. All I can see is a road, and I can't really live them down to play. You know. Homeless. Well, I I think I think that British people tend to treat travelers the way that a lot of European groups treat the Romani. Because it's very dangerous, obviously, to around, but right there, and the cars goes around very fast. So I'd be I got about half of that. Committed suicide. Externalize oppression. Absolutely. And there's more racism. Because you always. I could be totally wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure that in England there's a law where the police can just beat you to death if you're an Irish traveler or Romani. It's, yeah, there's like an anti trespass. There, there's some like specific set of laws that actually directly designate Irish travelers, you know? Irish travelers have a long history of bare knuckle boxing. Jesus Christ, living the stereotype. One one thing that I never got about that, I understand that like Romani people are ethnically distinct from the areas that they're in to the point where I can understand there being discrimination against them, even if they settled down and started a regular family. But surely there are parts of Ireland where if you settled down as an Irish traveler, you would just be like Irish, right? Like. Uh, like Irish travelers and a lot of people in Ireland are probably ethnically and linguistically similar enough that if you just like you, the, the, you could like blend in basically right I don't really know though you can kind of tell yeah but like Irish versus Irish traveler 
You know? You haven't seen Snatch? No, I don't know what that is. Isn't there, uh, like, the relationship with the natives? Well, I mean... But, like, Irish travelers would be about the same ethnic group as people in Ireland, right? I assume so. I mean, they're, they're Catholic, they speak English. I don't know. They dress differently, have a whole different accent. Is, is it, so is it kind of just like traveling like Amish people? Or well, no, because they're not like anti-technology or whatever. Sorry, this stuff is always really weird to me. Because America doesn't really have this, you know? Like, in America, we don't have indigenous people except for the indigenous people. And we f killed them. And the ones that are still around are all dying of alcoholism on camps that we set them up in. Um, we don't really have, like, in, in America, we don't have, like, a poor, like, in Los Angeles, there's not, like, a section of LA where there's a special group of, like, especially American people or, like, super Californians who, 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 you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's different. It's different. Yeah, it's, it's a, di like, the nomadic culture thing. I don't know. Europe is a lot more, like, ethnically complicated than America is because everyone in America is American no matter what. Glory be. Oh, uh, what were we doing? I forgot. I have to finish this, then decline the offer. Fat communist! How is it possible to be a communist and still be a fat? I'll fight any communist! Oh, he wants to go gut to gut, man. He, wa he wants to go gut to gut. Holy shit. It's been a while since someone's challenged me to a gut off. I feel like I, feel like I wouldn't be that good at gut off now. My, my stomach's pretty close to being flat these days. Oh, holy shit. I just tried to crack my back and it still hurts from I slept so badly last night. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. Sounds like an excuse to try to touch tips. Well, you can touch tips if there's not enough gut, right? That ever fell out of an arsehole, right? I might steal horses, but at least I don't fuck them. This is for Vash. Vash Kuczynski or whatever the fuck your stupid last name is. You go Well, okay, hold on. To be fair, out of respect for the Irish travelers that he's making racist jokes about, they probably have good enough taste to fuck some of the horses, right? I feel like if he's committing to the bit, he would have had to be like, and I, in line with, you know, the, the my Irish traveler ancestry, all, like, you, we both, you know? Like, you, you are actually my long-lost descendant or something like that, you know? Is he funny? Oh, yeah, Count Ankylo's funny, for sure. I mean, the, the problem with people like him is that they get less funny the closer they get to their politics. You know what I mean? Because I feel like... Because that's always, like, the bit where it's like, um... Uh, uh, the closer people who Pepe post get to politics, the more the comedy has to fall down and the more, like, the framing of every joke has to be, um... Like, a, a, a cover for the, the bit they're doing or whatever. Which isn't an issue with me, because I don't have to play cover for shit, right? Because, like, I don't really Pepe post. Uh, anyway, the answer is an unambiguous no. Uh, as, as good of content as that would be, um, unfortunately, the, uh, the main problem with fighting Count Dankula, or in fact, anybody who's not a tiny girl who's already crippled, um, is that I would lose instantly. I've come a long way with the costochondritis, but to be clear on how bad it still is, I can't even lay on my stomach without it hurting too much to breathe. A single punch to my chest would kill me. Um, so... Disqualified on grounds of uh, incredible physical weakness, uh, it is not possible. Would you fight Shu? I would fight Shu. Wait, hold on. Isn't Shu like five foot four or something? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Because my thinking is like my body is strong. It's just my chest is weak, right? So as long as she can't get a hit in on the chest, Count Dankula could though. Yeah, he's got big, big, big lads. He's like tall, right? Big lads, big lads tend to be pretty strong. Shu would beat Vosh, she'd be crazy. You think she'd be doing like cartwheels or some shit? Like she'd be flipping around and everything? Have you ever been hit hard in the face? I boxed for eight years. Yeah. No, 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 no. I can take hits to the face. Well, hold on. I could take hits to the face fine. I haven't been punched in the face in a long time, but I used to. And, uh, and, and well, it, I mean, it hurts quite a lot, actually. Navosh Count Dankula is like 5'7". Oh, shit! With the reach difference. What if he never reached my chest? What if I... What if, like, Count Dankula is trying to get at me and I do the thing with, like, my hand in his head and he's like, wow, wow, or, or like, I'm, I'm, like, keeping the distance, you know? Like, maybe I could keep the chest safe? It's probably not worth risking it. I appreciate the effort put into the, uh, the challenge, though. It's good. If I ever, uh, fully heal, then, then one day I can throw my hat in the ring. He might bring out the pug, though. Well, the pug would be an issue because I would probably also seek Heil the pug. The one, the one biggest, like, the, the, that shit was so f 
dumb man. I like as much as I don't like Count Dankula. I, well, actually, wait, hold on. I haven't even seen anything from him in years, so I don't even know like if he's changed. Or, I have no idea. But um, uh, that was like really dumb. Charging him under hate speech laws because his dog did a seek high. That is like so stupid. I was I was like, yeah, his girlfriend, his girlfriend's dog, whatever. I don't, I don't know. What about chest armor? Uh, well, I will admit that the idea of wearing like a a a steel breastplate does make me more uh, interested in, in getting in the boxing ring. Just put it's it's bare knuckle boxing, as in I'm wearing full plate metal except for the gauntlets. You know, I just have my little fists poking out of this gigantic um this this the entire like closet of metal that I'm wearing. I I'm coming out in like Sigurd's armor. From Dark Souls 3, you know? <laughs> let's let's go. The Onion Knight. Alright. You want to go gut to gut? I'm ready. <laughs> There's no way any impact hits my chest. Ruben! Oh, he disappeared. He's like the speed of light. Human Count Dankula aiming for the chest. <laughs> yeah, this is the secret to defeating me. The jump chest slap. I would not survive this technique. This technique gets an auto crit against me. You have to slap uh, Artemy, Roman hands. What even is this? This is the reason why um, uh, the EFF is racist against Indian men. Because uh, Indian men would travel to South Africa and they would just roam the streets of Johannesburg and they would just jump chest slap everyone they saw. People got really f annoyed by it. I don't know if this is India. I have no idea. Man titty tournament? Yeah. Oh, f my back hurts, dude. Cute cat. It's Chicago? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, somebody linked this. Wait, hold on. Has he just gotten worse? Will you respond to Count Dracula? Hey, it's the idiot whose fans had a mental breakdown when he said he didn't care if his country will become less white or not. Rare Dankula L. Don't worry, a lot's changed since then. Okay, so he's probably just a white nationalist now. Is Wait, hold on. If I called um, Count Dankula racist and he was like, no, and now it's been a few years and he's like, okay, well, I've changed. Now I am. Like, what... What does that say he always has been? Yeah, I knew that because I know everything. But like if he what, what does that say about him? If 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 it, either that means I better identified his ideology than he did, or I called out a lie and was right to do so. Either way, doesn't this just mean that in retrospect I've won my debate with him twice over? Wait, the debate was literally on whether he's racist, and now he's like, don't worry. And now I do have an issue with white immigration into countries. Is well, wait, hold on. <laughs> I, I, we, I've never won a debate twice, like the same one, you know? Maybe he wasn't back then. Nah, dog. That just means I'm like one of those dogs that can smell people who have cancer before they've even been like diagnosed with them, you know? Uh, that just that's not that's not the dog being wrong, like b initially. That's just the dog being the early detection system. Okay, I got that dog in me, that racism sniffing dog, or what is it when it barks? You know, it's like the Twitter account that's kind of annoying. You know what I'm talking about. Be honest, did you make him racist to take this W? Yeah, slowly like paying off people in his periphery over the course of years to introduce him to more and more racist ideas and normalize it just to like get the extra dub in.